hi guys in this video we are gonna build our own components as you can see this are the components in in here this is a country component you can say and these are all bunch of country components and it is inside one wrapper component called country list component we're gonna see how it's built so for now back to code in here you can see that one thing more I have to do that uh, whenever you go to your browser and check in your uh, component react developer tools you can see that for each country you haven't got the country code because uh, in the fewer in the next video you can you can see that it is important to get the country code so how can we get the country code as you can know that for each country is in the country app uh, in the countries you have the ISO 2 this is what a uh, country code means so I'm going to get the country code from this so how can we do that as you can know there is one concept or there is one concept in the JavaScript called spreading operator if you know that's fine if you don't know just see first of all this is an object and we have wrapped around uh, curly braces because it's an object if we, if it's an array we have to use the square bracket but it's an object now you have to give three dots such that it will spread out all the con content inside the java in the object now in here you have to give uh, what properties you have to like change so I have to change the country code in in here so just type in country country code and just set the value in here and we can use using country dot ISO 2 yeah that's it that's how you can set the value now if you just save it and go to your browser mm, it will take some yeah in here just go to stats and just select the one yeah in here you can see that we got the country code yeah definitely perfectly now we're gonna create one components I have already created one folder called components inside the source folder because we're gonna learn in here how we're gonna build our own component just as app.js has been built and used into our project so in components folder we're gonna again create a new folder such that we have like uh, it's it is a systematic way to create our uh, other developers can see what you have done and also build on upon it so you have to like write a clean code and and use a like easy to debug that's why i am building like a clean code and con yeah now i'm going to create a new file and it's name it country list and just say country list.js not to build not to give big name now just give import react from react such that we can uh, view that's why we have or we are going to use react and in here i'm going to use functional component in here not to build a class component now in here i'm going to return something but what we're gonna return we're gonna see next and for now just we're gonna export it such that we can import it in the country in the app.js so in here you have to like import it so just import it import what import country list import list from where dot slash component slash country list slash country list yeah and you don't have to give dot js extension because it knows the editor knows what you are doing now i'm just going to remove it or just copy it 
and that's what we are gonna write into our country list.js in here i'm going to use countries or just use stats yeah stats is better and just select what we're gonna give it to it this are stat or stats yeah that's it now if we just save it and you can see this is an attribute and we are just assigning the uh, all the data to a variable called stats now how can we get the data that we have assigned to this country list component or this country list component so in here what we get is a uh, props this is a props there are two things that is stat and props and i'm going to differentiate between twos in later videos for now just look into it and uh, this props is just like a state it's a javascript object now in here what we get we get these things now we don't have to write this because it's not a class so we have to remove it and in the place of stats state we're gonna use props in here and we just gonna write this one yeah yeah that's it yeah if just look into your project you can see we got the names yeah that's fine yeah that's good now what we're gonna do like you can see that it's good but this is a country list oh there there is name naming problem yeah just changing to country list in here because after this we're gonna build country component not a country list component in here yeah that's good yeah that's good yeah that's fine now in here this is a listing of countries you can say but we're gonna build each component has a country a country component in where we have image the name of the country and the description of the corona cases so for that purpose we have to build one more uh, folder called country so that's what developer do man uh, this uh, react developer you have to know what how much you have to divide one component that's what react developer do and that's what i'm doing in here so i'm going to just use country component country.js and in here i'm going to use import uh, react from react yeah and use the const country and we are gonna use props in here yes you have to know because this is how we can get the data from other component now next what it is now next we're gonna just remove it because we don't need this right now what we need is a uh, import what import import country import country from where from dot dot slash country slash country that's what we need i just check in yeah okay okay yeah in here what we're gonna give we're gonna give country and in country we're gonna give the state stats you can give your yeah stats is what we're gonna give and what we're gonna give we're gonna give props a uh, country yeah just give it the country yeah this is what we're gonna give that's it yeah oh just one thing we have to export it also so just you export default country and in here just for check for right now we are gonna just give the props props dot states dot country now just save it and save this also and just go to your project and you can see that we got the same thing well done perfect 
now in the console you can see there is one warning you can see and just uh, always a warning whenever you're gonna use map method inside the JSX so here you can see each child in a list should have a unique key prop what this means now in here this country you can see this is a country list but there are a bunch of countries are in, in here so how can react distinguish between each country because these have similar component that's how that's the key comes into into the picture from the key the react knows what or which component have to change or re-render so that other components don't have to re-render so whenever the chance come whenever uh, we have to modify one component and we don't have to modify another component that time we have to use or that time react use the key attribute now in here in our country list we're gonna give key and for this perfect match will be the country dot country code right because each country have different country code that's why i'm going to use country in here now you can see that we don't have we haven't got any error yeah also you can see in the components you have like for each country you have the key and have such that the key can be used for the react thank you in this video we have learned the uh, component com concepts in the next video we're gonna just style our uh, these components country list and country and it will look much better and it will be look like this yeah thanks uh, thank you